We know that crisis creates fear, and fear leads to action. And therefore, the elite create crisis, which then their proposed action that you can take to get rid of the crisis always involves more control and money. This is a fact, we all know this now. For example, COVID marks the largest wealth transfer in human, well, in history ever and also made people easily compliant to mask and vaccine mandates, and then people accepted the greatest ever authoritarian power grab ever imposed on humanity. Crisis is good because they can scare us. They can scare us into compliance. Fear is a really good emotion. Fear is a good emotion overall. Every emotion happens for a reason. Your body feels fear so that it can get out of a situation, but that comes with strings attached. So, for example, if you're under a tree, let's say you're a lumberjack, you're cutting a tree, and the tree's falling in your direction. I've seen a video of this. You might think you would run away from the way, you would run away from the direction the tree's falling. When you're in a state of fear in a life or death scenario, you won't. Why is this? Because you lose the ability to critically think. You lose all ability for rational thinking. So you just try and get out of there as easy as possible. And if that results in the tree falling right over you, you know, you might think you weren't, you're not stupid enough to do this, but it's not a matter of logic because you don't have logic in these situations. The government uses this against you and they're going to keep on using it against you. And this is common knowledge. So people are all speculating about what the next big thing or next crisis is. And some people think it's World War Three. Some people think it's going to be Disease X. Some people think it's going to be a cyber attack. Some people think it's going to be all three. I'm going to tell you what I think it is. And it makes way more sense than these, any of these things. So now, personally, I think, but I certainly hope not, that it's going to be man manufactured food shortages blamed on climate climate change. You know, have you seen the Dubai flooding lately? It's awful, isn't it? Now, so they've been able to flood their country by cloud seeding, or as others call it, chemtrails. So this just proves the, you know, very, very dangerous ability that you could very easily mess this up and just flood the place. And what's coincidentally happened at the same time is that here in the UK, there's been tons of rain lately. And I saw in the news because I've been at the gym and they have the TV on there and you just got BBC news reporting at all times, brainwashing everyone that goes to the gym. And they were talking about how there could be potential food shortages soon or that farms are struggling because of the rainfall, the tons of flooding. And what did they blame it on? Climate change. So what we're seeing is this trend of, you know, you know, they're priming us for this whole food shortages are coming. The farms are going to be struggling because of climate change, which is funny enough because I never hear any farmers say it's climate change, but the BBC says it's climate change, so I guess we should believe them. All I'm saying is that the technology to just flood farms is there. We've seen it in Dubai. It's possible. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying, all I'm saying is that it's possible. It kind of makes sense. They're priming us for it because you could just deliberately have a bunch of flooding, create food shortages, and say, well, guys, it's because of the cli it's because the climate's changing and the increased ex extreme weather events. And sure, there would be increased extreme weather events, but it'd be them doing it. They wouldn't tell us that. They'd just say it's climate change and it's your fault. You might you might be skeptical about this and think, no, they wouldn't do that. But the reason you're thinking that is because you're just scared of how easy that would be. They could just make it flood, say it's climate change, have a bunch of food shortages, and say. There's no food because you're causing climate change. You're eating too much meat, you're driving too much, you're going to holiday too much, you're buying too many clothing items. We need to ration your clothes, ration your meat and dairy, and stop you from driving and stop you from going to holiday. And you're going to accept it. Because why wouldn't you accept it? There's food shortages, you can't eat. What, are you going to starve? You're going to starve so you can drive your car? You're going to starve so you can drink some milk and have some cheese? <laughs> of course not, of course you won't. You get, because people are going to be scared. There's going to be food insecurity. Food insecurity is food insecurity. I don't know when the next meal is going to be on the table. So when you're in this state of fear, you know, you're going to go hungry and you could potentially starve. And then the government offer you this very, very easy solution. Just accept this carbon wallet, stop climate change, or in other words, stop chemtrails and stop cloud seeding. Well, then you can have it fixed. And people are going to go, okay, great, easy solution. And that's where the strings come attached. The strings are being carbon walls now you control forever because I, all i'm saying is they're going to impose the cbdc's and digital id if they do this and once there is cbdc's and digital id i'm going to be completely honest with you it's too late if that happens i'm going to just give up and never come back because i i will accept defeat at that point and the reason i think they might do this is because there's very little consequences for themselves you know people say they're going to start world war three but, but why do you think they want to live in a nuclear bunker for like three decades whilst nuclear winter is there and they you know, have to eat food rations? Probably not. 
a cyber attack also just doesn't make sense. You think they could do a cyber attack for two weeks or a month or two months or whatever, bring the grid back up and all of a sudden receive DC's digital ID and people just go, hmm, yeah, this seems normal. Of course not. How, it, doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Disease X could kill them too. They're a bunch of old guys. Bill Gates, Carl Schwab. You know, these are old. These are just old guys. Oh, well, they could create a vaccine for themselves. They're not that smart. They couldn't create a vaccine if they wanted to, if they tried to... It's, this is more complicated than you think. Vaccines don't just come easy. It, it seems like you're the one that is brainwashed into COVID thinking you can just create a vaccine in a year. You can't. Vaccines are hard to create and hard to make safe. So they're going to fail. Disease X is too risky. They could have loved ones die. I don't buy it. So this kind of just ticks it off. You know, it's easy. It's crisis inducing, which means it's fear. And fear can then lead to them being able to control us. And why do you think they've been brainwashing us and programming us to think that climate change is because of carbon all this time? Why else do you think they've been doing it? Do you think they've been promoting this whole climate change narrative this whole time just to create World War Three, explode everything and or a cyber attack and bring the grid back up? Well, what would be the point in the whole climate change thing? This makes sense. They're always saying it's because of the flooding. It's because of climate change. All these problems, it's climate change, climate change, emissions, 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 your fault, your fault, your fault. It makes sense why they've been priming us for so long, for several decades actually in fact and just as i said earlier perhaps it sounds like i'm contradicting myself i said fear promotes action and easy ways out i'm making you feel scared probably right now watching this video you probably haven't heard of this before haven't heard of this idea of this crisis they may push forward and manufacture as they've done before and now you're realizing wait a minute this is really easy i probably convinced you and now you're scared well good you should be scared because then maybe you'll fight back for once fear promotes action so what action could i make you take i i don't know i i really don't know but what might work is that if enough people know about it if you go and spread this message share this video i don't know i'm not, I'm not saying it for myself by the way then perhaps they'll realize it's going to be too obvious because everybody's awakened to this fact everybody knows this crisis they're going to try and push this crisis and then they know they won't be able to do it i'm saying this because there was a power plant in ukraine last year and supposedly ukraine were going to do a false flag attack and everyone was talking about it on on twitter and supposedly what's happened is people trying to date data scraping seeing how many people are talking about this being a false flag attack and supposedly it's, it's pretty theoretical they realized that people were seeing what's happening and they thought never mind we can't do this people are understanding it's a false flag so perhaps making everyone aware awareness were awareness alone it, at the very least, it can be better than no awareness, right? Because awakening alone clearly solves more than we think. So get this message out, share this video, whatever you want to do, spread this message, tell people about it, and long live freedom.